Hello guys, welcome to Dixie Belle Paints YouTube channel and welcome to my latest tutorial. I'm Laura from Cherubs Chalks Interiors and I'm here with my weekly update on my latest project. I was looking for a piece for our new home and this one fit the measurements exactly but I really don't like the look of it and to be honest I wasn't even sure if there was any hope that this could ever look good. But of course with Dixie Belle Paint products you can paint anything gorgeous. So let me show you how I transformed this from boring and bland to beautifully boho. So after a good clean, I'm starting off by giving the whole thing a scuff sand and then this top piece which I intend to leave as exposed wood, I'm going to give it a real good sand down, starting with a 120 grit, then moving on to a 240 and finally finishing off with a 320. This will leave a nice smooth finish and be ready for me to oil and make it pretty again. Once we've finished sanding, it's time to clean again. We want to make sure that we remove all of that sanding dust and make sure that it's completely clean and ready for the paint. So I'm going to clean with some white lightning, which then I will rinse with water to remove any of the white lightning residue. And now we're ready to paint. I have chosen drop cloth from the chalk mineral paint line, which is a gorgeous neutral and I'm going to use this as my base coat. I'm going to apply it with an oval medium to get round all of those little fiddly pieces. I will just apply one coat all over and leave it to dry. Now I'm ready to go in with my main colour, which is in the navy, which is what it says on the tin, a very dark gorgeous navy blue. I will apply two coats of this all over for a good solid coverage. Next up, it's time to seal in that exposed wood on the top. I've chosen to use Howdy Do Hemp Seed Oil, as this is a really easy to use product and is also food safe, which is ideal as this will be used in the kitchen. I'm going to use a chip brush and I'm just going to brush that into all of the wood grain. Once I've coated the whole area, I will leave this to dry for 15 minutes and then I will come back with a rag and buff off all of the excess. Now it's time to spice things up a little bit and add some fun detailing in the form of a silkscreen stencil. I've chosen the delicate lace as I really love one of the patterns in here. As you can see, there are three sheets, all with a different design on. They are all absolutely gorgeous, but this one is my absolute fave. So first of all, I decide how I want to position this on the drawer front. I then peel off the white backing sheet and pop it into position, rubbing it on so that it sticks onto the surface. I always use the white plastic squeegee to make sure that there are no air bubbles. I will again be using drop cloth for this stencil pattern and I've also got a little cut up piece of blue sponge. I will apply a small amount of drop cloth onto the sponge and then rub it all over the stencil. The whole idea of a silk screen stencil is so that you can achieve a really detailed pattern with no bleed through. So it's really important to make sure that you stick the stencil on really well before applying any paint and then ensure that you cover the entire stencil with paint, making sure to get into every single detail. Now it's time to distress and reveal some of that drop cloth from underneath. So I'm using a 120 grit sandpaper and randomly distressing all over the details for an authentic aged finish. Now finally it's time to seal in all of that paintwork, so I'm using some Easy Peasy Wax, which is a sprayable water-based wax sealer. This is really easy to apply, especially into this piece with all its nooks and crannies. So I simply just spray it on and then wipe off with a natural bristle brush. And once the wax is dry, she is ready to roll. I love everything about this piece, but I think this stencil really sets it off. And that hemp oil adds a lovely warmth to that natural wood top. What do you think to this one's makeover? 
I think it's come such a long way from the before and I love how it looks now. If you'd like to see all of our other projects, then you can go and find us on all of the social media platforms at Cherubs Chalks Interiors. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your post notifications to get notified when we post. Thank you for watching.